great to buy it from a shop. Somebody that you know, that they'll call you when a special certain piece comes. It becomes like a family, just like diamonds become a part of your family when you buy it. By creating that friendship and the relationship, it's that much more special. It's something that you can trust and you feel comfortable. You know they're there. So as much as diamond becomes your family, they're a part of my family, the people. My mother had once told me, don't ever let the jewelry wear you, the clothes wear you. So when I wear a piece, it's because I feel to wear that piece that particular day. My love for jewelry in general, but specifically diamonds, for as long as I can remember. Favorite pieces that I have had are the ones that have been given to me by my parents. All my pieces are from my parents in one form or another. This piece is a collaboration between Barton and myself. It came up to here and I just felt that something was missing. So I believe he came up with this emerald and th these two I had had. And then together we kind of like, do we do it here, put it here, just to, to build on it. So something that eventually one day I would pass on. This one was cut from a, a necklace, a choker, to make cuffs. We're currently looking for a piece here, like one stone, pink, yellow, diamond, center. And then kind of put it a little bit art decorish. We're kind of playing with that idea of ours and I. And then on the other side, I would have another color stone, not being the same. I don't like everything being the same. My mother had always said, wear your jewelry. I'm not buying jewelry for you so that you can put it in a safe and never wear it. So I, I wear my jewelry. This bracelet was made by Barton. He always jokes that I know his inventory better than he does. I love his pieces because they're very classic and estate with a twist, like a modern twist. This is normally more modern than I would go for. But it was just magnificent when I saw it. And I just thought it was genius how he did this. This is another piece from Boucheron. Their animal collection, tiger cats. It's made of rose gold, it's beautiful. My parents, my family has a history with Boucheron. So it, when I go there, I look at everything. And the history of Boucheron is magnificent as their jewels are. My friend, my best friend, Florent Bonavet, just flew in from Paris so that he can visit me and talk about jewelry and bring me jewelry. The necklace is one of your favorite pieces, right? Yes. What I love about this necklace is that it's so representative of Boucheron in a way that it's not only the question mark necklace, it's back in 1879 that we had the first Boucheron question mark necklace, and it was actually an ivy necklace. And I remember we were in Cantil Festival when you saw it for the first time, and uh, you just fell in love with it. And I was not necessarily convinced that it would be the piece for her, but you put it on, you also had the earrings. I remember we have yeah. the picture, beautiful picture, and it was just meant Me? to be. I know. I believe Anna is such a great fit because she loves the kind of classical but at the same time she always like a twist and Boucheron is very famous for being very creative. Ahead of its time. She likes ahead of its time, always. Anna loves to go to the best but she needs to feel home. She needs to be part of the family and Boucheron has been a, a great fit for me as well as for you. Remember when you just bought those two yellow diamonds, 22 carats diamond? And then she was with the five, oh no, six God. carats. Yeah, and white. six carat white diamond on the top. Just bought it, paid for it on the on the on the spot with a credit card. Wears it to the red carpet, and she says, "I want to no. take photos." No, we were having photo. It was appointment. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And then. It was near, it was on the, by the, on the rocks, no? By on the rocks? On the rocks, by the sea. By the sea. 
And she kept saying, I want to go into the water with the yellow diamonds. And I kept saying, no, screaming, the bodyguard was. I couldn't understand what the big fuss was about. But because I wear things so that it, be, it becomes a part of you. So she had a couture dress from Valentino, uh, two 22 carats yellow diamonds on, and she jumped into the water. It ended up being the most beautiful pictures that you took, but it was very stressful. <laughs> for you, for me, no. For me, it was extremely stressful. Yeah, I, when he turned around, it was my moment. <laughs> I looked at the photographer like, and I just jumped.